language lesson on March the 14th, 2020. Today's topic is testicle damage by the particle. A news article appeared on Sina on March the 12th, 2020. The title says, the expert says, men infected with the new should have fertility tests. Surprisingly, the source is Hubei Sheng Renmin Zhengfu Wangzhan, Hubei Provincial Government website. However, about half of the day after the news release, the Hubei Provincial Government or www.hubei.gov.cn has deleted the news article from their website. The article mentions Huazhong University of Technology and Tongji Hospital. So I searched these keywords and found the original article that Hubei Provincial Government used. I will show you the complete content with English translation. Alright, this is the article that I just said uh, with the same title here, but the, the source is Huazhong Keji Dashue, Tongji Yuan, Huazhong University of Technology, and its affiliated Tongji Hospital. Uh, the, the authors are here, the two guys here, Li Yufeng and Yao Yangcheng. Uh, these are the possibly the professors or doctors in Tongji Yuan. Uh, they are the two authors. So, um, the main point of this article here. Uh, oh, plus I will um, I will paste the uh, link here, uh, so you can check out the original article. You can also scan their uh, QR code here to follow their official account. All right, so uh, the information is right there. I'm just translating. Uh, let's see. Uh, the uh, I'm translating with s certain words. Uh, sort of, you know, you know what? Okay, I'll I'll use particle. The main point here is the um, the new corona particle infects uh, the lung and the uh, the immune system. Uh, that's the uh, the particle's main damage. But in theory. The new particle infection can still cause testicle damage. Therefore, uh, the Tongji Hospital uh, Reproductive Medicine uh, Center, the uh, Yufeng this guy, this, this author, first author here, a professor, so he is a professor, all right? Uh, he's, remind, he's reminding the populace. If you're infected uh, with the particle and with the proper age, after you recover, you should receive a fertility test. Uh, the article starts with some science here, which is not difficult at all and it's, quite, it's actually quite crucial. So I will explain to you um, the new Xinxinguanyongbingdu ACE2 So it's saying that the new particle uh, has the, these um, S protein uh, on the surface and it will combine or it will uh, go together with this ACE2 enzyme, which is also a protein, on the host cell. This uh, uh, on the host cell, okay? So, uh, and this is the Chinese name for that ACE2. Let's just skip that. Now, uh, through this mechanism, the particle can invade and reach in the cells. Uh, can cause tissue damage. Other than the lung, 
there are many organs in human bodies that express this protein, ACE2. All right, here comes the point. For example, the Ru Gawan testicles, Xiaochang intestines, kidneys, Xingzang the heart, and uh, and, and Jiazhuang Xian the thyroid gland. Uh, among which the testicle expresses a large quantity of ACE2. The main Location of the ACE2 expression, 主要集中在筋睾丸筋原细胞, the a sperm producing cells in the testicle, 支持细胞 supportive cell, 和间质细胞 the cells in between. 这几种细胞均与男性生殖功能密切相关. All these kinds of cells are very closely related. To male reproductive functions. Here's a graph here, it's very interesting. This is an ACE expression spectrum. Here, the, this Chinese character here means the lung. So the lung has ACE2 expression sort of in the sort of the one third, uh, and it's not. The, uh, the organ that expresses the most quantity of ACE2 protein. And then now let's take a look at this, the number one guy, number one organ that expresses ACE2. What is it? It says testicle. Yes, so that's the, the main point here. It's saying that um, uh, the, since the testicle has the testicle has the, uh, the 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 top one the largest amount of ACE2 expression so in theory the particle should attack the testicle with the the utmost force Now it's the uh, okay. This paragraph is a little bit too sciency. I will just take a quick look and see if there's anything worth translating here for the general audience. Um, okay, it, it it it's explaining the sperm producing cells and the its relationship to uh, male hormones and. It's just basically saying that the testicle has all these different detailed functions to maintain sperm production, male hormones, and and men's health in general. All right, and this is the the graph that is supporting whatever is said in the previous paragraph, explaining to you, explain to you their relative locations of all these different kinds of cells. Jinzishibao. Here is the sperm, for example, sperm. Jinzishibao. Now it's the say for example Jingyuan Shibao, that's the sperm producing cells. And all, all basically all these cells have large quantity of AC expression on their surfaces. Uh, this paragraph is saying that uh, the particle, the new particle is very, is highly similar, is highly similar to SARS, highly similar to SARS particle. So the, the, the invasion mechanism is the same. These two particles are the same. The invasion mechanism is ACE2. So even though uh, in their previous cases uh, with uh, SARS particle infection, although the testicles may not be tested positive for SARS particle, but SARS infection can still lead to severe 严重的免疫性损伤, severe immuno damage in testicles that that 引起睾丸炎 causing inflammation in the testicle. Therefore, 造成生殖器官, 破, 广泛破坏, 
therefore causing the uh, reproductive related cells a, a widespread, a, a large scale damage. 广泛的破坏,广泛, large scale damage, 破坏. Therefore, uh, okay, here. Therefore, in theory, the new particle infection can cause testicle damage, affecting sperm production, and um, male hormone production. Sperm production hindrance will affect male fertility. The serious case can cause infertility in men. Infertility in men. Uh, insufficient male hormone will lead to uh, will will affect it's saying effect but basically lower lower it will lower the, the sexual function in men and reduce uh, life quality so these two graphs are from their uh, microscope the top picture it says the normal testicle the bottom graph is says um, after SARS infection, SARS particle infection. Now you can see that um, in the top picture, all cells are healthy and uh, fat and happy. Um, but the the lower in the lower graph, they're sad, very pathetic, and they are sparse. Very few numbers left, and they are very unhealthy. And the supportive cells and, and um, the cells between those cells, the the material between those cells are missing. They're, they look like they're dying. And the caption says SARS particle causes uh, testicle damage. It concludes, uh, therefore, with the uh, history of particle infection, this particular particle, right, corona particle infection, especially the man with reproductive needs it's better that uh, after you recover you conduct you receive a, a of sperm quality and and hormone uh, level fertility check so you, you should you should check your sperm count and your hormone level so that you can be diagnosed early and treated early. All right, looks, sounds sad. Here, here's the guy, here's the guy, that, that, that professor. Okay, the author. All right, so that's the article that was released by the Hubei provincial, provincial uh, government and then it was taken down half a day after it was released on the uh, provincial government website. My opinion is that an unimaginable large quantity of human population will be affected by this particle. And not just this generation, but future generations to come, through reproductive damage to man. It is already being reported in the mainstream English media that 70% of the entire population will get this particle. You can see that Angela Merkel says up to 70% of German could get infected. 70 of the German population would be infected by the particle. And you see BBC here, it says the particle uh, up to 70% of German, Germany will be, uh, you know, will get it. Uh, independent from the Great Britain says particle 70% of the population likely to be you know we'll get it I'm trying not to say a few words 
you know, like, like the I word. Uh, congressional doctor predicts, all right, this is just, just a large number of U.S. particle affected population. More Merkel says 70% of Germany, blah, 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 CNBC. Most people will get the particle. 70% uh, of Americans may get the particle. 70% of Europe populations will get the particle. That is 70% of men that originally are fertile will have lowered sexual functions or become infertile. That reminds me of the 2006 movie Children of Man. The film takes place in 2027, when two decades of human infertility have left society on the brink of collapse. I highly recommend this movie as I'm a sci-fi movie fan. Uh, this is a very well shot movie. So, what this channel and my other channel have been reporting is never a rumor. In fact, it is WHO that is spreading the rumor, telling people to relax. The countries that did not listen to WHO are much better off, like Taiwan. If WHO has a channel on YouTube, that channel should be restricted and taken now, not mine. Particle TV continues to bring you the truth.